So first of all, I'm going to remove this, which is the math flow sensor, unbolt these, take all this off, and see what I can see. Taking the air filter out, you un take the top, top brackets off, take the filter out before you try and remove the housing. I spent a long time trying to remove the housing without the filter being out, and then realized when you take the filter out, it comes straight out. So with a little bit of view, you can see the power steering pump there. We've got the wrapped pi uh, pipes. In there, right in there, is the cooler, which I can see better than is showing up. There, actually, there it is. Um, this here is the fuel return by the look of it. Looking by where it goes. Um, that silver one down the bottom there that's the uh, I think that's pretty sure that's the hot water coming back from the heater core and then there's the brake lines so this is the header tank I'm going to take the header tank off I think um, alright so the wheel's off these are the bolts this is the front left wheel one, two, three I'm not sure what size they are so I sort of loosened it and it actually made it not much better, if not worse. So I've decided to take off and take these um, pipes off, and I'm just going to block them off at the end um, with these little bungs, and hopefully that will do the job. Then I won't have to drain the coolant. I'm going to remove this as well, just at this point, which plugs into this thing. I, I bound all this up. It's all related to the um, the evaporative system. So there it is, um, that goes back to the water pump, that comes from the, uh, this system here, and that part goes to the expansion tank, and there's the water sensor. So, Okay, so now there's the pump, like I said it's a little bit hidden because I put too short a belt on it I think, um, it's full. I'm going to drain it out so it doesn't go everywhere when I remove some of these hoses. Okay, so I'm now going underneath. And this is what I see. There is... I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but it looks damaged, but I don't think that's the source of it. It is dripping from everywhere. See that? It's just dripping from everywhere, and it's dripping a lot. And, I don't, and I'm going to clean all this and see if it then gives me some hints as to where it's coming out from. So I cleaned up down the bottom and I've taken the heat shield. This is the old one and I put a new one on when I was in here about six months ago. And it is saturated. So I think it's pointing to a leak right here. And it's flowing down the pipe. This, could not, this may not be the only leak. But it's a leak and it's coming down here and it's saturating this this pipe which looks like a low pressure return actually that's a low pressure return going through the cooler this one seems to be clean uh, so i'm not going to take i'm not going to take the coolant off of the bracket of the mount i'm just going to unscrew this one this is loose so i should be able to lower the rack and take a look the other end so, I tried to get this off. It was very stiff, and I couldn't get it. I mean, I could move it, I could twist it, but I couldn't pull it off. So, and it's all kind of gnarled up here, and was leaking heavily. So, I moved the band here, the Jubilee clip, and tightened it. I've refilled. And usually, when it's full like that, it sits in the garage and empties itself all over the floor. I'm going to see if it does. That's my first test. Okay, so a little update to learn from my experience. I figured this was all snarled up. I tightened it harder and I put an extra um, ring on it and the leaking mostly stopped. But the end of this pipe was all gnarled so I cut it off, took it off and you can see all the, all the fluid coming out with the view of pushing it on further. The only 
problem is it's not that long, so it doesn't really go on much further. So I've loosened the coil here, but loosen that a bit more. This is the cooling coil. I'm going to tilt the cooling coil, put the, th put the pipe on, tighten it up, put the cooling coil back into position. It's going to be a little bit tighter than it should be, but it should be fine. And I hopefully will stop my leak. Okay, it's all back. Two clips on there. New clip on there. And new shrink stuff. I'm mopping up. This is probably a little bit tighter. But I think I'm very optimistic. Let's see what happens. I'm going to fill it with oil. Change the little drip pan underneath. It's going to drip for a few days because it's all over the subframe. But hopefully I fixed it.